Welcome back to another Titus Diorama and Action Figure Review and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the Nacelle Biker Meister Mars Throttle Figure. So let's get to it. So as you can see, the uh, figure comes in a nice window box packaging, uh, kind of reminiscent to the uh, 90s uh, figures when they were released, however they were on card backs. Um, you can see most of the accessories in the figure uh, through the front. The side has some really nice artwork, uh, and the back shows all three of the mice uh, and a little write-up for throttle itself. Um, this is wave one of uh, this particular line. I believe there are going to be bikes that are coming out later on uh, and some more figures. Um, so let's crack this guy open and take a better look. One. All right, guys, here is Throttle out of the packaging. Um, let's go over the accessories. We'll go over the paint job and then the action figure itself. Um, so he does come with a, a few different accessories packed full. Um, and one of the coolest uh, accessories that I have, and this is straight out from the original um, figures that were released in the 90s, is this little gun here um, that shoots these sprockets. Now, this is very stiff. Um, I have got the shoot off. It goes pretty far. I'm not going to do it in the video right now, uh, but you get three of these. They just basically slot back in and you just press the back for it to go firing off. Um, that's really cool. Very nicely painted. Uh, all the sprockets are nicely painted. Um, he comes with three heads, the head that's on him. Um, the glasses are actually removable so you can see his eyes. Uh, we'll do that on the second head here. Um, so this is the second head. It's kind of open, like he's laughing or saying hi or something. And like I said, the glasses can come right off. Um, the eyes on this one's not too bad. I haven't checked the eyes on the uh, one that's on the um, actual figure itself. Paint wise for the heads, all really done. I had done well. I have seen other reviews where they haven't been so great. Uh, and then you got the helmeted head. Um, the 90s ones actually had a helmet that just slides over the head. Does make it look a lot larger. Um, but I do like what they've done here. He comes with a hot dog. Uh, it's fairly well done. I wish they had to put like some ketchup or mustard or something on there. I guess I could do that with some paint if I really wanted to, uh, but really well done um, uh, hot dog. Uh, he comes with the little blaster that they have in the show. Um, it does allow for you to plug in a little like a firing effect, but he doesn't come with any firing effects. Uh, very well done. The paint actually on this is done fairly well as well. Um, and then he comes with the two hands in the box. Um, and then he comes with two fisted hands and he comes with two more open hands so this one's the open hand which is uh, the one adjacent to this one and this one's the closed gun hand uh, which is the adjacent one there um, paint wise uh, I have seen other reviews where um, papers figures paint is um, not the best um, that stated, there's only two issues I have with throttle here. The first one is the hand on the figure right out of the box. You can probably tell it's a different color than the arm. The gun holding hand is that same color as that first one. And the punching hand matches the arm. Uh, I think what happened is these two hands didn't get the overspray for the color. They, of course, did the plastic in that tan color. So when they put the spray on uh, or the paint on top of it, it won't stand out as much. It'll look better um, than a different kind of plastic. But they literally missed these two hands uh, when they were painting. Not a big deal. I can live with that. Uh, so overall, the sculpt wise, very, very, very well done. Uh, I cannot blame them on or pinpoint anything wrong with these. Um, this is a, a new company that's doing 
uh, figures, uh, and they have like the panless joints and the legs uh, and the elbows. Um, I mean, that's just amazing, um, considering that we're still getting Marvel Legends that have pins in the arms and the legs. Uh, just really well done sculpt wise. Uh, they could have, you know, not done this, seeing that this is like their second line of figures. They have a different, uh, like Robo something or other, Robotech, I think it is. I could be wrong. Um, but they've done a really great job. Um, the sculpting, just amazing. Uh, when it comes to the articulation, uh, you can look pretty far down, you can look pretty far up, uh, and back and forth, of course. Um, he can go more than 90 degrees uh, out to the shoulder. I want to point out that he has a, a really great tattoo uh, de decal on there, done very well. Um, the jacket's done really well, and it doesn't interfere with the articulation that he has in his chest or the hip swivel at all. Uh, he has double jointed elbows, uh, I haven't messed around too much uh, with them right now. They're a little locked, um, but they, they do well. They do look a little weird on the bottom, but depending on how you're posing them, um, it does kind of just morph into the background. Uh, and then of course he has the, uh, can't even remember the joints, it's late at night or here right now when I'm doing this, um, but it allows you to shift, move, and uh, move it up and down wherever you shift it to. Um, the legs do kick quite far forward. They don't quick kick too far back due to the sculpting again. Knees are double jointed and can kick way back. Upper thigh swivel, uh, boot swivel, uh, and he does have the uh, hinge and the rockers and the shoes. Uh, so he gets a lot of articulation. The tail is just on a ball joint so it can literally whip around and you can have it whatever way you want to. Um, so looks really good, like what I see. Um, I would do a comparison time uh, type thing, but my uh, vintage figures are in storage right now, um, so I can't pull them out to show them off with these guys, um, but I do have a video that showcases all those vintage figures, so please check that out. Overall, guys, I'm really, really loving this a throttle figure um, and I love this TV series back in the 90s. If you like this video click the like button. If you're not already subscribed click the subscription button. I have tons of other videos on my channel. Please check them out uh, and as always guys stay nerdy.